All right, this uh, video will go over how to set up uh, elastic SIP trunking uh, with FreePBX. Now I'm using FreePBX uh, Distro 13 uh, with Asterix 11. So we're gonna be using everything on the Chan SIP protocol and not PJ SIP. Uh, in fact, I'm not even clear whether or not um, Twilio SIP trunking will support PJ SIP. So it's, at this point, I think it's best just to stick with the with the older protocol that's kind of been more established. So to get started, we're going to, uh, I guess, first to review, I'm going to go ahead and show everything you need to do in your Twilio console first. So we're going to talk about how you set up your termination and origination in Twilio. Uh, go ahead and provision a number. I'll show you where all the network information is in Twilio that you'll have to configure in your FreePBX. Uh, this demonstration also assumes that you've already got your FreePBX installed and firewalled and configured with an extension. So I'm going to be using a Bria soft phone with extension 100. I know it already communicates well with it. Um, all my firewall issues, natting issues, all that stuff have already been resolved. So, you know, you're gone into your SIP and, and set up all of your networking correctly. So I'm not going to go over any of that in this video. Uh, so if you have additional questions about that, you can feel free to reach out to me. But uh, I'm not going to cover any of that today. I'm just going to talk about SIP trunking, uh, termination, and origination so you can uh, receive calls and place calls out over Twilio using FreePBX. So let's start in uh, your Twilio console. Uh, if you need to find the SIP trunking, you just go to All Products and Services, Elastic SIP Trunking. And I'm just going to show you something, or I'm going to be using a SIP trunk that I've already set up. Uh, because I think it's easier to demonstrate. Um, but um, if you follow along, it's real easy to, to create as you go here. So we want to go to trunks. I've already got a trunk, but to create a trunk, you just hit create new SIP trunk, ask for a friendly name. Once it's created, it's going to take you to the general page for that trunk that you've created. Here you can uh, tell it whether or not you want to do call recordings or security. Uh, we're not going to go over any of that today, but hit save and move on. And the first thing we're going to do is set up termination. Termination allows you to make calls from your PBX out to uh, the Twilio Elastic SIP trunking. So you can make it all your calls out through Twilio. So the first thing you need to do is set up a termination SIP URI. So put in something here that's meaningful to your PBX. Uh, if it's already been taken, you'll get a warning here that it's already been taken. Uh, in this case, I've just set it up uh, for this company. So put it there. And then we need to uh, authenticate to Twilio. And we're going to do that in two ways. We're going to do it with an IP control to let uh, Twilio know what IP address traffic will be coming to them from. And then a credentials list, which is a username and password. So the first thing we need to do is create a new access control list. So you put in the friendly name, uh, the IP address of your free PBX, and then another friendly name. Hit create, and it'll populate here in the IP access control list. And then we need to create a username and password. So you put a friendly name for that, your username, and then your super secret password. Hit create, and it'll populate there. And then we need to go down and hit save. And uh, that's it for termination. Uh, moving on to origination. This is how Silly or Twilio routes traffic to your PBX. So in order to do that, uh, you want to create a new origination URL. And the format for that is SIP. So SIP colon and then your PBX's IP address. Put that in there, hit add. And it'll be created there. Uh, and that's all you need to do for the origination. Hit save and move on to numbers. Uh, if you've already got a number, you can just assign it or you can purchase a number. I've already got a number here assigned to the SIP trunk. So if you already have a number, you can go into the number detail and then assign it for the voice call route. You assign it to, to work with the SIP trunk and then choose the SIP trunk that you just created. Hit save and now that DID will be routed to your, your free PBX. So another note on the elastic SIP trunking here is that FreePBX shows you what uh, networks um, IP addresses their traffic is going to come from. 
So when we're creating our SIP trunking, we need to create some inbound routes that accepts traffic from each one of these signaling IPs. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to be using the North America, that way, uh, North America and Virginia. That way I know exactly what IP addresses I need to create trunks for when we're in our PBX. So all that information is here under the networking information, uh, so you can find that. So now we've got everything set up in our trunk on the Twilio side. Let's go ahead and go to FreePBX. Now again, uh, we're going to assume that you've already got an extension. Um, to create a trunk, we're going to go to Connectivity, Trunks. And then we want to add a trunk, and we want to add a SIP, Chan SIP trunk. Okay, I've already done that here with our main trunk. And here are the settings you need to set up your Twilio trunk. So we want to put in a trunk name. I'm just calling it Twilio trunk. Uh, your outbound caller ID is the number that you provisioned in Twilio. Uh, this is the format you need to put it in. Uh, it does need to have this plus sign in front of it. That was a gotcha that took me a little while to figure out. I didn't have the plus sign in there. Uh, but Twilio needs to see that plus sign when it's routed to it. So you want to put in the plus sign. Uh, caller ID options are pretty much default as we go through. Another gotcha is this dialed uh, number manipulation rules. Again, Twilio likes to see that plus sign. So we need in the outbound dial prefix, we need to put the plus sign here. And then SIP settings. We're going to set up the outgoing and an inbound route on this trunk. For the outgoing, I called it uh, Twilio trunk out. The peer details are that uh, SIP URI that we saw back here. Right here. That's your SIP URI. So you want to put in that as the host. Your username that you created in the credentials. And then your super secret password. The type is peer, and I'm natting, so I put uh, nat yes. For inbound, we want to put in uh, a name, so a context name. I just put Twiddler trunk in one. And then the IP addresses that we need to authenticate are all four of these. So this one I started with 01. So right here I put that IP address. Type peer from trunk. Hit submit and apply config. And now you've created your basic uh, trunk. Now um, let's go ahead and set up our outbound route and then we'll do a test call and then we'll work about work on the inbound routes. So let's go set up our outbound route. I've already created an outbound route here. Let's go review the settings for this outbound route. Just name it. I can name it Twilio Out. Uh, these are pretty much all the default settings. You want to choose your trunk. So this is the one that has the outbound route on it, Twilio Trunk. Dial patterns. Uh, these are normal North American dial patterns. I like to set this up. You don't have to. You can do whatever you like here. But uh, So this catches all. So this is the normal... Uh, dial pattern for US numbers. This will let you dial out to 911. This will automatically put a 1 in front of you know the 402 area code, the 10 digit number. And then here if you're dialing a lot to your local area code and don't want to put in the area code every time you can put in this dial pattern and then it'll put your 1 and then area code in front of it for you automatically. So let's go ahead and, um, uh, and submit that. So there's nothing else under import export dial patterns or additional settings so once you submit that apply the config you can go ahead and test your uh, outbound route so I'm gonna go ahead and type in just a so that's my office number and again it's gonna match to this dial pattern and my office phone will ring Taking some time today. Oh, I've got ring off. <laughs> Ringer on. There we go. So we've got our outbound route all ready to go in Twilio. 
Now let's uh, review and set up an inbound route. So to set up, to make sure that we're accepting traffic from all of the Twilio signaling IP addresses, we need to go into trunks and we need to create those additional uh, inbound routes, right? So we've already allowed this IP address, a trunk on it for this IP address, but what if Twilio sends us information on this one or this one or this one? So we need to go here, add trunk, add chansip trunk, and then when we add the trunk, the only thing we need to worry about is putting a trunk name and then going to sit SIP settings. It does require a trunk name here, but you want to leave that blank for outgoing. Then we want to do inbound, and then this is the TTN, which is Trailio Trunk N2, and then we put our second IP address, type peer, context from trunk, hit submit, hit apply. And we want to repeat that process for every one of the IP addresses in this list. So zero, two, and three. So over here I have, this is the context of one, this is zero, two, and three. So I've got all my bases covered here for accepting traffic from Twilio on those uh, different IP addresses that they come from, okay? So now we can go to connectivity and do our inbound route. So I've already created an inbound route here and I just have it routing simply to my extension just for ease here. So the settings for that uh, just create the description. We want to have the DID number it's going to match on. So this is the, your Twilio phone number. So this a route knows that it's going to route traffic for this number. And again, we want to put that plus in there. Um, and then we want to route it to our whatever route you want, but I'm just routing it to my extension here to, to make it easy for the demonstration. Um, there's nothing for advanced, nothing for privacy, nothing for fax, and then other, uh, I do have just caller ID set up, which uh, you can look up other videos how to do that, but that's real simple to do with OpenCNO. So you just hit submit, uh, apply, and now you've created that inbound route. Uh, so let's go ahead and dial that number. Go ahead and dial it in, and it should ring my soft phone here. Okay. And that's it. And that's how you set up uh, Twilio SIP trunking for your free PBX. Thanks.